The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hi, how you doing? My name is Sean Barrett, and this is Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that shines a spotlight on local songwriters. These are your friends, they're my friends, they're your neighbors, they're the people in your own backyard. They're producing and writing great music, and we're hoping that we're going to introduce them to you, that maybe you'll get out, uh, go check out one of their shows, pick up a disc, legally download their music, and just generally support this local scene here in Sudbury. And I'm delighted to have with me Chris LeBlanc. How you doing, man? Thanks. It's great to be here. I'm really glad you came out tonight. Uh, so, Chris, um, let's start with uh, you telling me a little bit about, uh, you know, when you started playing, writing, when, like, you know, when you, when you started, but when you started getting really serious about it, too. Well, I started playing guitar probably around the time I was 12, but I okay. never, you know, my dad bought me one, yeah. and I learned three chords, my cousin taught me, yeah. and uh, I threw it in the closet for seven years, okay. you know, basically, and then... Uh, like last year of high school, there was a talent show and I decided, you know, these guys look pretty cool up there. So I was going to pick it up again. And I went and I bought, you know, a $2,500 electric guitar. Mm -hmm. My dad almost killed me for that. But yeah. he said, uh, you better play it. If you bought yeah. it, you better play it. So I started playing then and, you know, I tinkered around, but I really started getting serious about it in around 2007 when I started to write, when I really, you know, I had some some life-changing events and, and uh, that's when I really started to focus on writing okay. what was inside of me. You know, the, the, a, lot, a lot of it was, was very difficult to write, but mm -hmm. um, it's getting happier now. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, but you kind of went whole hog, right? Like, I mean, you, uh, that's only, you know, four or five years. You've already been down to Nashville. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I went to, uh, to Nashville two years ago in August mm -hmm. and uh, I had social networked the, like, my way into knowing tons of songwriters down there, famous songwriters. Mm -hmm. People, like the people that I stayed with, he's, he's had number one hits in the UK. He's had, uh, his name is Tebe. Mm -hmm. he's, he's actually got a song on, on Kicks uh, right now. Uh, he's a phenomenal songwriter. Uh, he's got a publishing deal down there. So I stayed with them and uh, they introduced me to some really cool people. Like mm -hmm. the whole neighborhood that he lives in was all songwriters that work on, on Music Row. Um, I also uh, played on stage with Ralph Murphy uh, at Tin Pan North, which is a festival in Toronto. Uh, so I met Ralph down there. We went out, had lunch. Uh, he's vice president of ASCAP, mm -hmm. which is a big performing rights society in the States. Mm -hmm. um, I met uh, Bud Lee, who mm -hmm. actually uh, wrote uh, Friends in Low Places. Oh, that's cool. Uh, interesting cool. story on that, but that's for another time. Another time, another yeah. time. Uh, we're going to get to some music. Uh, you're going to play us a tune. Tell us, uh, tell us the name of the song, and uh, you know, let's uh, let's get at it. Uh, I'm going to be singing a song uh, called "Today, Tomorrow, Till the End." It's a song I co-wrote with uh, two friends of mine, Rolly LaFantasy and Charlie Collin. Shining and all the flowers in bloom. I'll never forget your smile and the way you looked at me. Cause baby, it felt so right, it was meant to be. We told each other what we were looking for. Cause we've both been down that road before. But I promised. To you that day I'll never leave your side I'm here to stay Cause what I feel for you Is undeniable I know this time around It's unconditional You'll always be my best friend Baby on me you can depend Today, tomorrow, until the end Never gonna catch me looking at the door Cause every time I see you, it leaves me wanting more 
And if the years roll by and it seems we've lost our way, just remember what I said that day. What I feel for you is undeniable. I know this time around it's unconditional. I'll always be my best friend. Baby, on me you can depend. Today, tomorrow, until the end. There's some things in life I'm not so sure about. But when it comes to you, baby, there is no doubt. And what I feel for you is undeniable. I know this time around, it's unconditional. You'll always be my best friend. Baby, on me you can depend. Today, tomorrow, until the end. You'll always be my best friend. Baby, on me you can depend. Today, tomorrow, until the end. Chris, great song. Thank you. That was awesome. That's much. a really cool tune. Um, I know, I know you co-write with a lot of people because uh, I'm one of the people that you co-write. Absolutely. Uh, I can't even remember how that came about, but I guess for the last uh, what couple of years, a year and yeah. a half or so. That was Vic Terrio. Actually. Was it? Vic was it Terrio Vic? told me to contact you because you were a hell of a writer, and uh, ah. he was right. Thanks, Vic. And, yeah. you know, and thanks for Chris. That's awesome. Um, we've I don't know, we've written quite a few songs together at this point, like uh, a few dozen. Anyway, oh, more I'd than say. that, yeah, for sure. And uh, and actually on my disc, which is called Live Through This, and you should get yourself a copy. Um, Chris has a couple of co-writes. Uh, we co-wrote uh, Winding My Way to You and Over Now. Yes, sir. And uh, you helped make those songs better, and I thank you for that. Thank you very um, much. It was a pleasure. So uh, so so we and and we're also going to be playing. A huge gig, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? That is uh, Westfest, and uh, that that is a the largest free festival uh, in Canada. Uh, there's no admission. Uh, very good friend of mine, actually, my cousin is the founder and producer of the show. Mm. So um, she invited us to uh, to come out. It's great. I can't even believe this opportunity, man. It's oh, like, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, uh, we're going to be opening for for an icon in, yeah. in the Canadian recording industry. I mean, Stephen Page, yeah. former Bare Naked Ladies, um, it, it's gonna be something else. And a great songwriter in his own And right. a great songwriter, for sure. You know? And you know, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, when I think about songwriters that I admire, um, of course, you know, for me, and I know for you, you know, guys like Steve Earle, oh, yeah. and, and John Prine, I mean, some of the greats, but there's, a, I mean, there are so many great Canadian songwriters too. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, you talk about, you know, Keeler and Cuddy as a, you know, I mean, to me, they're kind of like the, you know, the Canadian Lennon McCartney. Who else do you really, you know, think of as being like, you know, a really top notch, top shelf songwriter that you kind of model yourself on? Um, I mean, uh, there's a lot of Nashville songwriters that I really like. I mean, uh, Tim Nichols is mm -hmm. one. I've studied a lot of, of song structure and, and these guys, they just know exactly how to make an ordinary song just shine. Right. And he wrote uh, Live Like You're Dying. Okay. Uh, from Tim McGraw. Now that's mm -hmm. a, I mean, that's been a, a hit. It's still getting rid, uh, like ri airplay like crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, those kind of guys, because I want to be, uh, at, at some point I'd love to have something on the radio and right. something that people are going to really look back on and say, that was a great song. Yeah, well, you know what? We've so, got a couple of co-writes, uh, the songs at Westfest. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, something tells me that maybe you're gonna get your wish. I don't know, I think this could be a break, man. I hope so. All right, I so really it's gonna be me, you, Brent Wahlberg, Brent Wahlberg. the Haybirds at Westfest, www.westfest.ca. Thanks That's so right. much for coming in, oh, man. Thank you very much, really it was my pleasure. It.